Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to look at the 2023 Macroeconomics Exam Set 1. This is question number 3. In order to do well on this question, you should be through Unit 2. After watching this video, if you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the Total Review Booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your Macroeconomics or Macroeconomics Exam. Let's get into it. Now this question starts off with the country of Zeta. They have a civilian non-institutional population that is 16 and over of 1 million people. The labor force participation rate is 70%, the unemployment rate is 9%, and the natural rate of unemployment is 5%. The first thing we have to do for part A is calculate the number of people that are unemployed in Zeta. And we have to show our work. Now the question is asking about the current unemployment and that means the natural rate of unemployment is going to be irrelevant for this part of the question. In order to answer this question, we have to remember the formula for the labor force participation rate is the labor force divided by the population. And using algebra to rearrange that formula, that tells us the labor force will equal the population times the labor force participation rate. And that is the population of 1 million people times 70%. And that means the labor force is 700,000 people. We also have to remember that the formula for the unemployment rate is the number of unemployed people divided by the labor force. And using algebra to rearrange the formula, that will mean the number of unemployed people will equal the labor force times the unemployment rate. Then we're going to take that labor force of 700,000 times it by the unemployment rate of 9%, and that gives us 63,000 people who are unemployed. And if you have those calculations there, you get yourself a point. For part B, we have to explain if the economy of Zeta has a recessionary gap, inflationary gap, or no output gap at all, and we have to explain. Well, our current unemployment rate is 9%, and the natural rate of unemployment is 5%. That leads us to our answer here. This economy has a recessionary gap because the unemployment rate of 9% is greater than the natural rate of 5%. That means real output is going to be less than the full employment level of output. And if you have an answer something like that, you get yourself a point. For part C, we're going to be drawing a production possibilities curve for the country of Zeta. We're told that they produce both consumer goods and capital goods. And once we've drawn the graph, we're going to put a point labeled A, which shows where the country of Zeta is currently operating. So we're going to draw that production possibilities curve, put consumer goods on one axis and capital goods on the other axis, draw in a concave production possibilities curve. And since this economy is suffering from a recessionary gap, we're going to place point A within the curve. And any point inside the curve is going to get you that point. For part D, we're asked if some of the individuals that have been counted as unemployed stop looking for work, what will happen to the labor force participation rate? And we have to explain. In order to answer this question, we need to remember that the labor force participation rate is the employed people plus unemployed people divided by the population. And once you are not looking for work, you are not considered unemployed and no longer in the labor force. So the math tells us that the answer is going to be decrease because discouraged workers, which is what you call unemployed workers who stop looking for work, are not part of the labor force. And if you have an explanation like that, you get your next point. For part D double I, we're going to say what happens to the unemployment rate as a result. And as long as we remember that the unemployment rate is the unemployed people divided by the employed plus unemployed, and we remember that if you're not looking for work, you're not unemployed, then we simply have to say decrease. And that's one of the inaccuracies of the official unemployment rate. When we have an increase in discouraged workers, the unemployment rate falls as a result of these workers dropping out of the labor force. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the macroeconomics exam from 2023, set one, question number three. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.